Hey, what's up, y'all? What's cracking like? And it is D. I'm about to react to this video by Ice Queen Fan. This is Jasmine Masters being iconic for 10 minutes. I, um, I've seen this person on, you know, the Instagrams or whatever. So, <laughs> I am familiar with, um, her face. Uh, and I have seen a couple memes, but I never knew who she was. I was just like, who is this person they keep showing? Um, but you know, yeah, apparently her name is Jasmine Masters. Maybe she got a YouTube channel and she was saying crazy shit. I don't know, but we about to see. Let's watch. Well, just as I thought, trash. I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. You need to wear a man deodorant if you're gonna do uh, shows and stuff, drag queens. <laughs> Fuck. This little secret and flower and floor y'all be putting on. That's not for man much. I know. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Please get them armpits. When we are smoking a blunt together, what I don't want, I don't want your ex telling me your life story when you got the blunt in your hand. It's called <laughs> Puff Puff Pass. And you take the time for the blunt to get in your hand and you want to tell me your life story and you let my blunt go and just go like it's an incense? No, bitch. And you take like a half of a puff and blow that smoke out? Hell no. You have to dish your ass. You go to the 99 cent store and get with a uh, summer eaves. They come two in a box. You got to pop the little top, push it in your and squeeze it. You have to flush it out. Am I lying, sister? <laughs> you have to clean yourself out because if you don't do it and nobody tells you, you will never know until they are reading the dog to you like they did the boys back in the day when I was coming up. So just a quick message. Just clean your ass out. You got to get a water bottle. And you, what you do is you drink, you drink all the good water. But you feel that that was a warm, felt faucet water? <laughs> so warm faucet water, and you up and down. And you do it like three, four times until when that come back out, it just looks like water. So you good. must be who you are. Don't go around looking like another queen and trying to pretend you're some other queen because you're never going to be that queen. The only queen right. you could be is yourself. No matter how much you look like the queen, no matter how many times you get mistaken for the queen, you're going to always be yourself regardless of the fact. And you really don't want to look like a queen because you don't know what another queen did on her social media or who she was arguing with and what she done done. And if somebody mistaking you for that queen, they may beat you to not that queen. So whatever the case may be, so you better be careful with that. You don't taste that? that? That's in your mouth? You gotta taste it, because I smell it as soon as you approach me. Yo, grab You know, I understand why people grab you stinky and they don't taste it. You, you, don't, you don't taste that little funny taste in there? It's, you gotta taste it, because I smell a hot boiled porta potty coming at your mouth. Mm. And you wanna sit there and say hi to people. Don't go hi, because that's the <laughs> food, that fumes is coming out of there. When you smoke cigarettes, you should always have some type of mint. Some type of mystery, some mystery strips, something. RuPaul's Drag Race has the drag. Get your the job challenge. Pick up your phone. Please fix your phone, people. I can't do no more videos about staying breath and funky people. 2017. I need you to wash thine ass. Wash thine ass. Boiling water. Boiling and water. And burn off that phone. Funk monster. <laughs> Hi, Taco Bell. Yes, are you hiring today? Oh, great. I will be down there and fill up application. Thank you. KFC. Hi, how are you? <laughs> like are you hiring thing. today? Oh, great. I will be down there momentarily to fill up application. Thank you. Hi, Pizza Hut. Are you hiring? <laughs> oh, you are. Delivery drivers. Oh, great. I will be down today to fill out an application. Thank you. Burger King. 
How are you? Yes. Are you guys hiring today? Oh, fantastic. Can I come down today to fill out the Oh, great. Thank you. Challenge. Get a job. Do that challenge. It doesn't do anything for me for a guy to talk to me when I have on all of this. I have on a stocking underneath this wig. I got my balls tucked back. They sweated in them. My toes is like this. I'm in all type of pain and heat and sweat and funk. So for me, it doesn't do anything for me because this is not what they're going to see every day. And this is not what they're waking up to. This is not what's going to be in the bedroom having sex. That's just not my jish. The word jish means... You know, you fix to somebody up, like real quick. Let me just you up before you go out there. That's what it means. That's the old school. Well, me and my sister Chevelle Brooks, we always say, "Hey, Jish, what you doing? Oh, Jish, I'm about to go get some Jish. Oh, I'm finna roll up Jish. Oh, I'm smoking Jish. We just use the word Jish, just for anything. So everybody would keep asking me, "What do Jish mean? That is what Jish mean, okay? And we spell it J U S H. We took the P out of push and just added a J. And that's just. That part means the girls. That part. That part right there. That you ain't supposed to have, but you got. Right. So, you know, they roll up. They be like, what's up, mom? What's up with that part? And then, <laughs> and they say, that part right there. She get pissed. <laughs> so, my friend. What you thought? What you thought? Right? Man, she's like, girl. You should never be without weed or blunt if you smoke weed or blunt. And with me, I always got mine. I would have smoked my own because I know what I'm smoking. I know what I, I put in there. Nothing but weed. And don't be charging all these thousands of dollars. And it's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Everybody can record. But yeah. Child put weed in his hair everything. No, it was just, that's what it was. That's what it is, it is. I don't dislike nobody. I don't have time to argue with nobody because that's not doing nothing for me. What the f is that? I know I ain't crazy. Y'all heard, I'm keeping... What the f is going on in this neighborhood? We don't get down like that. Everybody here go to work. When you going to invite somebody over, that's when you have to take that time, put the blood down, bitch, and you have to start cleaning up. Because when you invite people over, they looking. They searching. If it ain't right, you're going to be the talk of the city. They're going to say, don't go over there. Your food was nasty. Your house is dirty. Yeah. Your bedroom. Jesus Christ. What the happened in there? It smelled like funkerade. It smelled like funk. Balls, armpits. Sweat, nut, doodle juice. Doodle <laughs> juice. Girl, let me tell you, young generation, something. You could like what you like. And I'm not knocking with people, how people want to express themselves in drag. But honey, that's not drag. That's not the drag I know about. So when you ask me the type of questions and I tell you I don't know, I'm not being funny. I don't know. I, I'm not in that drag era or... Baby, I'm 39 years old. I'm 39 years old. And when I started doing drag, I had a hot glue gun. And I had rhinestones and I had feathers and I had cardboard, cutting up stuff, making earrings, whatever we could do, creative. That's the drag I came from. That's the drag I know about. I wasn't brought up wearing my panties and bras on stage and and, 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 and reaching for something that ain't there. I, I'm not that drag. I, I didn't grow up that way. I didn't have YouTube to teach me. I had somebody show me and I learned and I asked questions. So when you come to me with this and I tell you I really don't know, I don't know. Your breath smell like you been just being a, a human toilet. I need you to get up it. I need you to make a dentist appointment. I'm paranoia. And I need you to uh, into their face and they will know exactly what you need. You need to get all them teeth yanked up at your mouth, have them yank every last one out, baby, and put some dentures up in there. You can throw them holes in the jar every night, let them suds up clean and all that because your breath is still knocking me to you know, your breath is giving me a Mike, a Mike Tyson knockout punch and I can't hold it no more I always take a deep breath and say I am who I am 
I love myself. I love my flaws. If you, somebody gonna like it, somebody gonna love it. I have to deal with this. Everything God gave me, I deal with. True. I just want to say thanks all to all my fans and friends out there who supported me, who cheering me on, who's giving me positive feedback. I really need it, and I really accept it, and I love you for it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Now, Soprano. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No. Not with those vocals, though. <laughs> I don't know if she was on uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. I heard her mention it, but I'm not sure if she was on the actual show because it isn't. It didn't seem like she was mentioning it in a positive light. Actually, I think she said like it was terrible. But you know, people tend to do that. Uh, I remember Winnie Harlow did that after she left uh, America's Next Top Model. She was talking shit about it. So who knows? But anyway, um, she's cool. She's decent. Um, never seen any of her videos before, but you know, this was interesting. I, I see what type of character she is. But let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.